Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jim Fahad. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to add variable products into WooCommerce website. Okay, so what is a variable product? Variable product means different variations of a single product. Let's say you sell t-shirts. There might be different colors for the same t-shirt and price could be different for different colors. For the same t-shirt, there might be different sizes and prices could be different for different sizes as well. So these sizes and colors are the variations in this case. I will show you everything step by step how to create these different variations, how to set up different prices for that very easily. Now before moving forward, please make sure you have liked this video, subscribe this YouTube channel and press the bell icon so you won't miss any website related valuable videos, tips and tricks and any step by step website creation free courses. Now it's time to learn everything about variable products. So let's see how to do that. And you know to create a new product we can do that from by going our dashboard and then from under products if we click on add new we can add a new product but there is another way to create a new product like when you're logged in you can always see this black bar at the top and then from this top bar if you hover over on the new from here you can create new post new page but we want to create our new product so from here let's click on product to create a new product okay so let's add our variable product and this time i want to add a hoodie for men so i want to name the product name rider hoodie then in the product description here i'm putting some text so it's all about the hoodies features and fabric also let's copy some text from here and then i want to paste this text here product short description okay also let's do some other things beforehand so let's add the category let's click here add new category first i want to create the main category click on add new category and then i want to create another category let's name it hoodie and the parent category would be men now click on add new category cool so let's now add some tags really fast maybe winter then mail also let's add hoodie okay click on add what else now scroll down here let's add the product image from here click on set product image go to upload files click on select files now from inside variable products let's upload these two together now click on open so for the first default image i want to select the black one click on set product image and then here product gallery let's click on add product gallery images this time i want to add only this red hoodie now click on add to gallery all right now let's go to the main part of the variable product so from product data let's now select the variable product Let's give it a SKU number a 00123 and I don't want to enable the manage stock or I don't want to enable the sold individual options. The main thing we need to do with the variable products is the attributes. So let's click on attributes. So first I want to add a size attribute. So from here you see custom product attribute. Let's now click on add let's name it size and here check visible on the product page yes i want to check it and then here is the option for used for variations yes i also want to check it now let's enter the values so the sizes i want to make the small size medium size large size and extra large size so for a small i want to type s then let's give a space and to separate the different values we need to put the pipe icon then give another space then the m for medium size then another pipe then the large size and then the extra large size now click on save attributes so here's the size attribute i want to add another attribute so let's click on add this one would be color so i want to name it color then i want to check both of these for the color values i want to put first black then a pipe sign the second value would be red now click on save attributes cool so we have two different attributes one is size and another is color 
if you want to see it in details just click here on this down arrow so you can see here's the four values for size attribute and if we expand the color here you can see the two values black and red and we have checked used for variations on both attributes so basically it will create eight different variations because we have four different values for size attribute and we have two different values for color attribute so four times two equal eight that will create eight different variations so to create the variations let's now click here on variations now at the top you can see here add variations click here you'll find the option create variations from all attributes now click on go now the browser pop-up says are you sure you want to link all variations yes i'm sure so let's click on ok and it says eight variations added we know four times two equal eight now click on add now here we can see the eight different variations like small size black color small size red color medium size black color medium size red color in this way we have eight different variations now we can put different prices or any other different option with each of these variation so if you want to work with any of these variation you can expand it by clicking on this down arrow or you can just click here at the top you can see here eight variations and then you can see expand click here so all eight variations expanded all together okay so first thing i want to do i want to give each variation a different sq number like for the first variation let's give it a 109 then i just want to copy it now let's go to the next variation here is the sq i'm just pasting it and adding an extra a to make it different let's go to the next variation here i want to put this q number and then let's add b let's do the rest really fast so here this one c and this one let's put it the number and d then the next one to make it different just add e next one paste it and add an f go to the next one paste i just want to add g okay so we have added different sq numbers for the different variations then here you can see for each variation you can put different price different sale price different stock status different weight and dimensions all these so here is the first one and this one is a small but the color is black so for this one i wanna add the black hoodie image so just click on this image icon let's select black for it click on set variation image the next one is the red one for this one i want to select the red the next one is black so let's add black and the next one is red so select red click on set variation image the next one is black so let's add black the next one is red so let's add red and the next one is black set the black for that and the last one is red so let's add red for that now let's say if you wanna do something that's common with all these variation you can do that all together from here okay first minimize it so let's click on close let's say i wanna put the price same for all these different variations so i don't need to expand all of this one by one and put the regular price on each of it individually we can do that all together from here so let's click here on all variations from here under pricing you can see the set regular prices option now click here click on go so i wanna set the price 120 dollar for all these variations so click on ok it's asking again just click on ok the regular price has been added on all these variations to check it just click on this expand and now we can see the regular price is 120 dollar for this variation this one this one here you can see the regular price is 120 
also for this one so the regular price 120 dollar has been added to all of these variations all right if we now click on publish let's now view the product i'm opening it from a new tab now let's see so here we can see it's the rider hoodie product page and here is the option for choosing different variations so now let's play with it like here size we can select the size small medium large or extra large let's select the large size and color if we select the black we can see the black hoodie here but if we select the red we can see the red hoodie here that's really cool so we can see everything correctly like here is the product name here is the product price the short description here is the all variable option then here is the sq number categories tags and then here is the description also you can see here is another tab says additional information so if you click on this tab we can see it says it has these four different sizes and these two different colors cool now i want to show you another cool thing like you can see here the product price is 120 but let's say if you want to give the extra large size hoodie a different price you can do that from here so let's scroll down now go to variations now click on expand so for all of these variations i want to keep the price 120 dollar but only for the extra large size so here's the extra large size so for the extra large size i want to make the regular price to 140 dollar so 140 dollar for extra large size no matter it's black or red so also for red i want to make the regular price to 140 dollar okay now go to the top and we can do one more thing like here you can see default form values so we can set the default values for the variations so let's select the default size to medium size and the default color to black color all right now let's click on update now let's go to the product page and let's refresh the page now here instead of 120 dollar we can see the price range that's from 120 dollar to 140 dollar because you know we have set 140 dollar for extra large size and here you can see as we have selected the default size to medium so the default size medium is selected and the default color black is selected even if we select the size to large you see the price is same 120 dollar but if we now select the size to extra large you see the price is now 140 dollar so no matter it's black if we also select the red the price is 140 dollar for extra large size okay so let's make the color to black and let's add it to the cart it says rider hoodie has been added to your cart so we have added a extra large size hoodie but i also wanna add another medium size hoodie okay black color is fine also let's add this one to the cart click on add to cart if we now go to the cart we can go to cart by clicking here on view cart or if you hover over on this cart icon at the top now we can see these two hoodies has been added to the cart and if we now click on view cart we can also see here rider hoodie extra large size black color that's 140 dollar and here is the rider hoodie medium size black color the price is 120 dollar so this is how variable products work all right and i have a complete woocommerce tutorial in this channel where i have shown everything in detail step by step from start to finish so no matter if you're a complete beginner you can create a complete e-commerce website by following that tutorial i have shown there everything how to get your domain name and web hosting how to add any type of products how to take payments how to deliver products to your customers everything if you follow that tutorial step by step, you can start selling anything online from today. I will put the tutorial link in the description so you can check that out. 
If you like it, please hit the like button, subscribe this YouTube channel and press the bell icon so whenever I will upload a new video, you will get notified before anyone. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.